Huatalco on Mexico's Pacific Coast was the glorious setting for the 2023 America's Triathlon Mixed Relay Championship. And with vital Olympic qualifying points on the line, eight nations represented with four of them, USA, Canada, Mexico and Colombia, fielding two separate teams. Four athletes on each team, two men and two women, and the men the first to face the swim, 300 metres in the ocean. And the likes of uh, Perez, Dar Smith of the States, Willie of Brazil, all out pretty quickly. But there wasn't a massive amount of separation in the water with uh, just a three and a half minute swim. Perez initially threatened a little mini break, but pretty soon they came together. Nine of them. The bike is just 6.8 kilometers, just a single lap. And they all came into T2 together. Normally, they're really separated on the run, but in this instance, not really the case. The usual candidates were there, the United States, the Mexicans. Canada actually showing up well at this point, both their teams were involved and there were four women together at the front including Katie Zafirez of the USA and Alvarez of Mexico who saw do so superbly yesterday in the individual race. Zafirez actually was slightly further back as they came out the water but with her stellar cycling skills no one really thought that she wouldn't make the lead group and that was exactly what happened. Similar number to the men initially but then Zafirez did even better than anyone had managed on the men's side. A pivotal moment in the race. She put the hammer down and only two women could go with her. Arnold of Brazil and Tapia of Mexico. And those three had a handy little 30 second gap as they came into transition. Zafirez, who didn't have a particularly good race yesterday, trying to make up for that and she was certainly doing so having a real battle with Tapia and those two stayed together and they actually dropped Jennifer Arnold about a 15 second gap back to uh, the Mexican so it was for the USA Brent Demarest and for Team Mexico Rodrigo Gonzalez and uh, the Brazilian a little bit behind uh, Bravo Neto, but he did very well in the water to make up some ground. And there wasn't much between the three as they went round the second boy and headed back to the beach to get onto the bike. It was probably to all three nations' advantage that they would be together. Damaris did have an advantage coming into transition, but no surprise to see them together as they got the bikes out and prepared for the 6.8k ride and they shared the workload pretty evenly between them and uh, didn't allow the chasing pack any room to reduce the deficit that was already more than half a minute at this stage. So off the bikes together, but it was the run that would really sort them out. Certainly Brazil lost ground because uh, Bravo Neto couldn't go with the other two. Meanwhile, they then handed over to the final women and this was a battle royale. Gwen Jorgensen of the USA against Lizeth Rueda of Mexico. Rueda had a slight advantage and she was 10 seconds clear on the bike at one stage, but this another massive moment in the race as Jorgensen closed her down on the bike, was just fractionally behind out of T2. In fact, going the right way was her biggest problem. Onto the shoulder of the Mexican and then about halfway through the 2K run, went on her own for home and never look like being caught. It's been a brilliant weekend for Jorgensen, having taken silver in the uh, individual race yesterday, now gold in the relay, much to her teammates' jubilation. Mexico coming home for second, a real battle on for the bronze, and Dominika Jamnicki, who just missed out with the bronze in the individual, made up for that by steering the Canadians home for bronze in the relay ahead of the Brazilians. So three very happy quartets on the podium. The next mixed team relay is in Montreal next weekend.